All right, so one way you can use these things is you can just turn them on and set them somewhere where they can kind of filter the air, you know, near or around the printer. Another way that they're intended to be used is like on this Photon M3 is inside of the printer. So I've had this lid closed. Now when you do pull the lid open, you release all the fumes that kind of were collected in here, like very strong ones. And then that's where the issue comes is when you first open the lid. So I'm gonna open the lid right now. And sure enough, there's a very, very strong odor coming out of this thing. So the whole point here is that you can put one of these or both of these inside the printer. If of course it fits in your printer like it does in this one. And we can turn them both on. And the idea here is that they'll filter the air inside. And so next time when you open the lid, it won't be so deadly. So let's go ahead and close this back up with them on. And I'm gonna give it about 15, 20, 30 minutes maybe, and we'll come back and open it and see if we get the same kind of fumes or not. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes or so, and one thing I'm noticing is that there's definitely a different smell in the room. So I don't smell the resin at all, but usually I don't smell much of it anyways with this lid closed. But I do smell something a little bit different, which is <laughs> kind of interesting. So let me go ahead and open the lid and uh, see what we smell, so. Okay, so. You can still smell the resin. It's just not very strong. It's just like a really light, kind of like a, more of a faint smell. And it's kind of a little different. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like just a different smell. So yeah, it does seem to work actually. And it seems to work <laughs> very well. From 100% being the smell that we smelt earlier without these to what it is now, I would say it cuts about 80% or so. So yeah, it's quite significant. And you can tell. Now it's not gonna completely eliminate it as we talked about earlier, but it does make it a lot more tolerable. So yeah, overall, I think, you know, they're quite interesting in what they do. And if you are very sensitive to, you know, resin and it really bothers you, this could probably help you out a bit. So as long as you understand that this minimizes and not eliminates completely as the expectation, I think you'd be pretty happy with them. And if we take our watts consumption, which is 0.6 with 200 milliamp hours, we should be able to get well over 24 hours of runtime out of these things. And they do look pretty awesome. So, you know, if you want to make a gift for somebody that's maybe into 3D printing, this could definitely be great for that.